250,000 deaths occur in the hospital each year because of medical errors. The big push for simulation came from the Institute of Medicine's report to Air is Human, which came out in 2003. And that report really, um, for the first time, identified that medical errors is a leading cause of death and that we need to do a better job at educating our healthcare providers through the use of simulation to promote patient safety. The goal of simulation is to really replicate what happens in the healthcare environment. The simulation rooms will look exactly like they would look in a hospital setting or an outpatient clinic. We replicate the patient by using these mannequins that can breathe, talk, have seizures, have blood running through their veins so they can practice a lot of their clinical skills. Or we hire actors to come in and play the role of a patient. One of the best stories that ties simulation to positive patient outcomes was I went to a conference and the medical team, nurses that took care of the victims for the Pulse shooting, they were able to save all 35 lives of the people that arrived at a hospital. And the main reason they had such a great outcome was because they had simulation training. They used to do disaster simulations throughout um, the hospital on a regular basis. When someone's heart stops or they stop breathing, and we call that a code situation. Research has shown that through the practice of mock codes um, on a certain pediatric floor, that they actually had an uh, increase in patient survival from 33% to 50% just through doing simulated mock codes. One of the positive outcomes of, of performing these simulations, particularly in the maternity field, is decreased insurance premiums. Unfortunately, uh, when it comes to malpractice insurance, um, surgeons and OBGYNs have some of the highest uh, malpractice suits. So through simulation, we can reduce the adverse outcomes for mothers and also reduce insurance premiums and have better patient outcomes. Simulation in itself, it's, it's a huge investment. These mannequins, the equipment is very expensive, but simulation also does reduce the cost of, of medical care and medical um, errors. In addition to the patient safety, there was a seven to one uh, return on investment due to the simulation training. So in the future, I think there'll be a lot more use of simulation within all these healthcare disciplines and the technology is going to improve and that some of these accrediting bodies are going to actually require that students have simulation as part of their education.